Wow. Each and every time, that moment of truth where we work with our clients, we have the opportunity to wow them. And the rewards for wowing are tremendous as a financial advisor. If we wow our clients, we're delivering tremendous value for them, but we're receiving tremendous value. In our enlightened self-interest, we need to be like top financial advisors all around the world and wow our clients. I'm John Bowen, CEO of CD Worldwide, and in this short video, I'm gonna share with you the secrets of the top advisors that we have the privilege of coaching and how they're wowing their clients and reaping tremendous rewards for all. Stay tuned, you do not wanna miss this. The CEG Advisor Edge, essential insights, real results. Wow, wow your clients right now. See, what I, the biggest secret we have is to get to know our clients all over again. Many of us have taken our clients through some type of process, you know, investment centric or financial planning, but we were very analytical. As financial advisors, we tend to be left brain dominant. We're very logical. We're working with our clients. See, clients want to emotionally connect with us first and then justify the engagement and the continued engagement through logic. Well, our opportunity to expand our relationship and generate introductions has never been better with everything going on in the world. With all this confusion, it's a great time to reconnect and get to know them all over again. How do we do that? Well, we call it the rediscovery meeting, where what we do is we sit down with our clients and we're gonna tell them that we need their help. Single most, you know, I mean, four most powerful words in the English language, I need your help. And if they're one of your clients, they've invested their life savings with you, they're more than happy to help. I need your help. We're fine tuning the way that we serve our clients. And I'd like to take you through this process where taking a look at where you are now, where you wanna go, what are the gaps, kind of rediscovering that information. Cause I'm pretty sure I know most, if not all of it, but I'd like to treat you, and this is very important, as if you're a new client, so I don't miss anything. And I am sure by doing this, we're gonna identify some new fine tuning opportunities that are gonna accelerate your success even more. Okay, they're gonna love that. And we're gonna schedule what we call a rediscovery meeting. We're gonna to get together and we're gonna ask them a series of questions around seven major themes. We're gonna start with values. What's important about money to you? And this comes from my good friend, Bill Bacharach, uh, on value clarification. You wanna understand their values. And the next goals, what we're looking at on the goals side is what are they most proud of in the past and where do they wanna go? Then we're looking at relationships. Who are their most important relationships? And we're literally drawing this out in a mind map so they can really see the integrity we have to this process, the chemistry we're gonna be connecting with them because of the uh, quality of the questions even more, the caring, the empathy, and the competency in the quality of the questions that we're asking. It's a really wow experience and it's gonna deepen the relationship. So values, goals, relationships. And then we're gonna ask about the assets, liabilities, traditional financial stuff that we all do. And then we're gonna ask about advisors. They're not only about the relationship with us, but other advisors, including the other financial or investment advisors, bankers, but attorneys, accountants, uh, and insurance specialists, any type of advisors you're working with, you know, are they getting what they're looking for out of that? And then we go from there to process. And what we find is so many of the clients uh, when we do surveys are not satisfied. They don't think their financial advisor has a clear and compelling process to address all their major concerns. So check in with them. And then lastly, we wanna go back to an emotional is interest. What do you enjoy most when you're not working? Well, those questions, you're gonna, you're gonna open up so many avenues of opportunity to really serve them better. 
It's a very powerful process. So the, you know, the first thing we want to do is we want to connect with them there. And as we do that, then what we, we want to do is talk about updating their information. And that's where most of us are saying that we're going to update and give them you know, a fine-tuned plan. And what I want you to do is share your personal story at this point. This is so powerful is why do you begin doing what you're doing? You know, why do you deliver wealth management? And this, you know, work with somebody, you know, we have, obviously we're a coaching organization. This is something that's very important to us because we found that this is that emotional connection that really not only connects with that client, but then your story will proceed when they're introducing you, they'll do this as well. Let me just give you a short taste of my story. Uh, imagine now you just went through the discovery meeting and you've answered, you know, you've asked the questions, they've answered it, you've got a mind map of all this now. And you say, boy, you know, there's a couple areas that we can really dive into. And I, I just want to tell you why I'm so passionate about wealth management. See, it was in 1975. It was May of 1975, May 5th. I got a call from my dad. And I, I'll tell you, I was excited about it because I had grown up in upstate New York. My dad and my uncle had started a cast iron foundry at the top. They had 400 employees and you know, really had a great quality of life. It was a great business. And every summer and every winter break, my dad gave me a job. Uh, it was it started out at the worst. Uh, I was jackhammering molten iron as it hardened, as they spilled it out of the cupola. It was my first job all the way up where I thought this time as a junior in college, he was going to give me a, uh, an office job. I was really looking forward to it, making more money and all that. And my dad gets on the phone and he goes, son, I've got some bad news. What is it, dad? He says, the foundry's going under. Your uncle's going to stay there and he's going to wrap it up. I'm out looking for a job. Oh, and your mom and I are getting a divorce and you don't have a summer job. And, you know, it was just it changed my world instantly. And then, you know, I'm kind of proud of the question I asked my dad. I go, how are you going to be? And what scared me more than anything is I don't know. Okay, I had to live a relatively affluent lifestyle as a kid up until that point, and my whole world changed. And it was really at that moment I decided to be a financial advisor because there had always been enough money around for everything that our family needed. And had my father and uncle had the right financial advisors, none of their families would have had to gone through this. They made a, ma a major costly mistake. That's why I'm in financial services, really passionate about wealth management, so no other family ever has this challenge. Okay, think about that for a second as I shared that. What it does is it helps really them see who you are, not just this analytical financial advisor, but your story. Now, most of us think our stories are boring and mundane. They don't have to be. Okay, you can work on this. Let's take it a little further, though. So we've shared the story, we've done the emotional part. Now we're gonna provide the solution. We wanna help them with what they care about most. What are we talking about here? Well, we wanna give advice beyond investments. Investments have become commoditized. So what we're looking at doing, and you've heard me talk about, there's kind of five key concerns. I'm gonna just go over the four that we call advanced planning. The first one is investments, which you know, helping them make smart decisions about their money. We all do that, but mitigating taxes. We also have taking care of the heirs, and that's very important. You know, for the family stewards particularly, also protecting their assets from being unjustly taken. It's not a, only identity thief as what, what we're seeing here, but it's lawsuits, divorce, partnership breakups, and then lastly, charitable intent. See, if you can do this, what you have is you have an irresistible combination. What is that? Okay, that is delivering that experience is a wow. Now I talked about the rewards of wow. There's really two big rewards. One is your clients are gonna give you more assets when you go through. We've got all kinds of research. We've had the privilege of rolling up our sleeves working with our coaching clients. This happens over and over again, even when you think you have all the assets and you can be a better service to them because you've got it in an organized fashion. Second 
is the introductions, the qualified introductions, not only from your clients, but the other professionals you're working with, your business will take off. Now, if you'd like to see how you could make this all work, we have a process we call the best year ever consultation, where we'll take a look at where you are, much like the client process, where you are, where you wanna go, what are the gaps, and what would we do if we were in your shoes to accelerate your success even more? What are the three simplest things? Both these reports are in writing. You have to have a net income of 200,000 or more for us to provide you with this complimentary process. And all you have to do is hit the link below or on the side uh, for the best year ever consultation. And you can go ahead and schedule the first meeting. And I'll tell you, it's gonna make a huge difference. You're gonna be glad you did. Your clients and your future clients will as well. We wish you the best of success. The CEG Advisor Edge, essential insights, real results.